I'm here to be a servant to others. Phoenix nurse Ian Youngblood answered the call back in April, leaving home to help thousands of New Yorkers fight COVID-19. That's when the former college rugby player and firefighter found out he was about to fight a battle of his own. But as a 29-year-old, you don't ever like brain cancer? Like, hold on. What? Ian began experiencing severe headaches and nausea, and while in New York, was diagnosed with stage 4 glioblastoma, a rare form of brain cancer that claims the lives of more than 10,000 Americans every year. In August of 2018, one of those people, Senator John McCain. High-grade gliomas, glioblastomas, and malignant brain cancers are commonly considered the deadliest cancers known to man. Ian's neuro-oncologist and director of the Ivy Brain Tumor Center in Phoenix says although the survival rate is low, it doesn't mean there isn't hope to beat the cancer. These are populational statistics. They don't describe you. They can't predict your future. He and Ian are teaming up to bring awareness to the disease, since brain cancer hasn't seen the same medical advances as breast or prostate cancer. For Ian, he's not letting his diagnosis stop him from making a difference and is approaching the battle one day at a time. I'm going to learn something from this whole entire experience that's going to help me help someone else later on down the road. He says now more than ever, everyone has a part to play in not only defeating cancer, but COVID-19. You're going to make a difference in someone's life if you just look for it. If you pay attention and you keep your eyes open, there's someone out there that's going to benefit from your presence.